Hi my dear students, today we will discuss chapter 1, application of matrices and determinants. Very first exercise, we are going to discuss adjoint and inverse. Adjoint. The formula given in the textbook, how to find out adjoint A, A i j whole transpose, which is nothing but minus 1 whole power i plus j, m i j whole transpose. Adjoint A can be calculated only for square matrix. Okay. Uh, in our uh, syllabus, we are going to find out adjoint only for 2 by 2 and 3 by 3. Consider the matrix A, A, B, C, D, which is a 2 by 2 matrix. For this one, without using this formula, you can write directly adjoint A for 2 by 2 matrix. Interchange the leading diagonal. This is called leading diagonal. Interchange this D will come here and A will come here and signs change the sub diagonal. I'll tell you again. Let the A whose order is 2 by 2, A, B, C, D. Order is 2 by 2. Adjoint A for 2 by 2 matrix. Interchange the leading diagonal. Sign change in the sub diagonal. This D will come here, this A will come here and this is plus C means it will be minus C. Plus B means it will be minus B. Suppose it may be minus B means it will be plus B. That's all. Next, for finding the adjoint for 3 by 3 matrix. I have a matrix A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Now we are going to find out adjoint for 3 by 3 matrix. But the formula is given in the textbook. How we are going to find out adjoint A for this one? Very first find the cofactor matrix. We will find the adjoint for 3 by 3 matrix. First find the cofactor matrix A, I, J. A, I, J can be calculated. For the first one, just leave the respective row and column E, F, H, I. E, F, H, I. Next, for this one, G, leave the respective row and column D, G, F, I. D, G, F, I. For this one, leave the respective row and column D, E, G, H. For this one, just leave the row and the respective column B, C, H, I. For the middle one, just leave the respective row and column A, C, G, I. For this one, just leave the respective row and column A, B, G, H. For this one, leave the respective row and column B, C, E, F. For this one, leave the respective row and column A, C, D, F. For the last one, leave the respective row and column A, B, D, E. Okay, put alternatively plus minus sign. Plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus. This minus 1 whole power i plus j now. That's what gives minus 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 alternative. I'll tell you again. Very first we are going to discuss adjoint. Adjoint for 2 by 2 matrix. Interchange the leading diagonal. Sign change in the sub diagonal. That's all. This is what adjoint A for 2 by 2. For finding adjoint A for 3 by 3 matrix. First find out the cofactor matrix. A i j. Which can be calculated. Leave the respective row and column. Write the balance 2 by 2 determinant, in determinant. So every element, just leave the respective row and column, balance 2 by 2. Now expand everything, okay. It gives a cofactor matrix. And plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, alternately we want to follow by using this one. In this case, adjoint A can be calculated, A, I, J, whole transpose. Cofactor matrix transpose gives adjoint A. 
for 2 by 2 directly you can find interchange in leading diagonal sign change in the sub diagonal for 3 by 3 matrix you want to find out the cofactor matrix take a transpose it gives adjointing next inverse inverse exists only for non singular matrix because a inverse equal to 1 by determinant a into adjoint a adjoint a you know how to find out for 2 by 2 and 3 by 3 in our topic we may discuss only 2 by 2 and 3 by 3 determinant a last year we studied expanding the determinant since 1 by determinant a if determinant a not equal to 0 only inverse exists so therefore inverse exists inverse exists only for non singular matrix i'll tell you again in this topic we may discuss adjoint and inverse adjoint only for square matrix and our syllabus are only 2 by 2 and 3 by 3 for finding adjoint a for 2 by 2 interchange the leading diagonal sign change in the sub diagonal which is enough for 3 by 3 matrix you want to find out the cofactor matrix a g how can you calculate for the first element leave the respective row and column we will get 2 by 2 for the next element leave the respective row and column we will get the remaining 2 by 2 like this you want to fill up this one expand everything by using 2 by 2 determinant alternately you wanted to follow plus minus plus minus plus minus sign taking transpose for a j gives adjoint a for 3 by 3 matrix inverse inverse formula is 1 by determinant a into adjoint a if determinant a not equal to 0 then only inverse exists therefore inverse exists only for non singular matrix what is mean by non singular matrix whose determinant value not equal to 0 ok problem we will discuss in the next class